Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. My name is Bodiqua Binks. I am in the last episode. We uh gosh, we were finishing exploring the whole new labs like Tenko's lab and all of that. And then uh, we saw an interesting scene <laughs> between um Mew and Kibo. And now I'm, I was at the point I was like, okay, let me go and back to the casinos and see what's new there. And I found two new games that opened up. Outlaw Run and Hunter Treasure Monolith or something like that. And so as you hear by the music, I've been busy in the casino for quite a while. I have been grinding because someone told me there was a specific item that I needed to get or exchange at the price counter. Um, they didn't tell me why. They just said, just do it. You will appreciate it. You will enjoy it. I know it's a grind. And my god, was it a grind. Um, but I did figure out... I got really good at the Outlaw Run game and the Salmon Fishing. So those were the two I was pretty much grinding on. Because the slots were just not doing anything for me. I never had any luck with those. Uh, okay, so let's continue on now that I got the... Uh, enough coins. <laughs> God, that was so frustrating. It was such a struggle. Um, oh wait, that's the wrong one. No, I don't. I don't need to be here anymore. No, no, thank you. <laughs> okay. Premium exchange counter. There's a lot of gifts in here that look interesting to me. I'm just wondering um, how important they all are. I mean, there's some that are actually pretty cheap. Uh, like, I'm wondering, I have a feeling that all of these will unlock, like, a special scene or something. Um, so that's kind of frustrating seeing these and wondering, you know. I know I probably already have been missing scenes left and right for each chapter, uh, but I'll worry about that after I beat the game. <laughs> but right now they said to get a certain item. Ah. They said to get the Key of Love, which happens to be freaking the most expensive thing in here from what I'm seeing. Everything else was affordable. I could have gotten these like ages ago. But no, this Key of Love uh, was expensive as hell. <laughs> okay, a key to a certain place filled with greed and lust. You can give it away, but something good might happen if you keep it. Now, the only thing I could think of, come on, the one place filled with greed and lust has to be that frickin' love hotel that we can't get into. So I guess now we can get into it. And I'm excited. <laughs> God, that was a grind. I only have 192 left. Um, okay. As long as I got this key of love, then it's all good. <laughs> Can I just use it right away, or does something get triggered? I don't know. Can I just go in there? Let's see. Can I get in? I'm not sure if I like the implication. Oh, I can't just get in? No! Well, maybe something will happen on its own later then. Oh! Well, there you are. I did find, like, one or two others while I was running around. Okay. Well, I'm, ne I'm never gonna find the one in the in the trial, though. <laughs> There's no way. I'm, I'm never gonna be paying that much attention to focused on the actual trial. <laughs> okay, so now that we have that, and I guess I'll have to wait and see if something gets triggered, um, I guess I can go look for people to hang out with. So, I'll be back with you guys once I do. Okay guys, so that was, didn't take me long because I was actually right near where I needed to be. Um, there's a certain someone I think we should be able to hang out with now. Um, I never tried before, but I have a feeling she was not available before. Uh, because that happens in everything in Rumpa game, that there's someone you can't hang out with. Um, I think that's... Yeah, that's her room. Let me see. Is she there? Maki. This is probably her room. I can't just ignore what she said. She sounded really upset. Knock, knock. Ah, she is there. Okay, great. 
Great. Let's hang out with her, please. What is it? What? Hey! Uh, um, if it's alright with you, do you want to talk? Stay away from me. Didn't I tell you to stay away from me? I'm staying away from you and the others. So just pretend I'm not even here. But Maki, no! No! Darn it, I was hoping. Darn it. <laughs> Maybe later in the chapter. <sighs> Aw. Okay, never mind. I'm sad. <laughs> okay, let me go find somebody else then. Darn it. Not yet. Soon, hopefully. Kaito, keep working your magic, man. We need to be able to hang out with this poor girl. Okay, guys. So, I was surprised he's in here, actually. Uh, she's not here, dude. <laughs> so, why are you here? But, actually, I want to hang out with Kaito. Uh, hopefully, he's available right now. Let's see. Jeez. Jeez. Everyone's saying the same thing. It's not okay to lump them together just because they both killed someone. Should I hang out with Kaito for a while? Yes, because he's your bro. You guys need more bro time. Always messing around. Kaede and Kurumi did both kill someone. That doesn't make them murderous fiends. Yeah. I spent some quiet time alone with Kaito. Ooh, quiet time. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Kaito and I grew a little closer today, as you should. Would you like to give him a present? Heck yeah! What would you like, my darling? Okay, so Kaito likes rock hard ice cream. Hmm. What is that object in there? <laughs> is that a spoon or is that something else? That title. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> rock hard. Hmm. <laughs> Kaito, please. <laughs> I'm trying to behave, man. A cup of ice cream engineered to never melt. It can be carried around for a long time, even in summer. Whew, excuse me. <clears throat> but it's so hard, ordinary spoons can't penetrate it. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your rock hard ice cream, man. Are you giving this to me? <laughs> you know me so well. Alright, thanks for this cool gift. I'll tell you a cool story. Leave it to me! You got something to tell me? Don't hold back. I'll listen. You're pretty enthusiastic about this. Mm. Wait, aren't you the one telling me something? <laughs> uh, well, you're an astronaut trainee, right, Kaito? Got it. Sure am. I'm still a trainee, but I'm gonna be accepted for sure. But training to be an astronaut must be hard. Can you handle it? <laughs> no problem. My training's a piece of cake. I heard astronaut training is pretty brutal. Kaito was grinning at me, but then his expression turned serious. But you know... Well, to be honest, it's about as intense as intense can get. But the universe is harsh. You gotta be able to handle any situation. Any situation? I mean... The first two years is basic training. It's pretty straightforward. You learn the skills needed to be an astronaut. Medicine, aeronautical, aeronautical engineering, scuba diving, linguistics, survival training... Wait, linguistics? Why? You pretty much just gotta master everything. Well, that's why he's always saying I'm not an idiot. <laughs> hmm, survival training. You have to do that too? Got it. Yeah, for emergencies where I gotta make an unexpected return from space. Yeah, a lot of scary things happen out there, man. That's right. I suppose you do risk your life to be an astronaut. Ah, oh. uh, that reminds me. I remember watching something in the news. There's a training facility for astronauts in the bottom of the ocean, right? Yeah. Right. It's pretty famous. It's a little different from basic training, though. Listen up. Alright. Pop quiz. What's the most important thing an astronaut needs? Uh, um... Uh, uh, um... I would say... Perseverance or a healthy body? Hmm. That's tough. 
I'm gonna say perseverance. Hmm. Perseverance? Got it. Sure, that's necessary. But there's something more important than that, said the healthy body. The seafloor facility exists to help people train the specific thing. And that thing is Listen up. Oh, the answer wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> Communication. The most important thing for an astronaut is teamwork. The universe is a frontier that the people of the world challenge together. And since we need to work together, communication is vital. You're right. That does sound quite important. Huh. Right. They checked that in the recruitment exam. That's why you need language training. Ah, okay, that explains the linguistics. It makes up a fourth of basic training. Of course, I could speak Japanese, English, and Russian all fluently. I didn't just learn the languages, I had to learn each culture, too. Wow. The culture, huh? I never thought I'd hear Kaito. Uh, wait, now that I think about it... He could speak multiple languages, is well-learned, and has what it takes to be an astronaut. I've been underestimating him. Kaito is incredible. Yeah. Stop calling him an idiot, you guys. <laughs> Damn. Damn it, I want to get back to training. The universe is getting away from me. The world needs this luminary of the stars to shine even brighter. I don't have the heart to tell him that I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> okay. Yay, friendship fragment. I hope we get to finish it with him. I don't know, man. Kaito and I went our separate ways, and I returned to my room. Oh no, the music stopped. Only got to hang out with one person. Well, I'm glad it was him. Although Maki would have been nice too. Oh? This is an announcement. Whoa. Did he beat them both up? Oh my gosh, even her bra straps <laughs> off. What the heck? This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. It's Betty Bye time for us. You bastards. You two should sleep together in one big bed. Clearly, he's punishing them. <laughs> ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? As close as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we should could sleep in triple bunk beds. Yeah. Huh? But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're that close. Bedtime or sign. Alright. Jeez. He's torturing them. Nighttime. I have training with Kaito. Yay, more Kaito. <laughs> I know you guys might be saying, why did she hang out with Kaito if we were with him all the time? But it's different, because we got to learn more about his astronaut training right there, so. We haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. Yeah. Ooh, I like this music. Let's do it, man. Oh. Angie, what you doing, girl? Oh, me, oh my. Huh? Shuichi, where are you going? Well, uh, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? I... Oh, I was just talking to the others. Ugh, I said that word. To the others. Huh? Talking? Maybe. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, um... Ah, uh, I see. Atua! Atua was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all pres preserve the peace here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone. I wonder what she means by that. Bayonara! Bayonara, Shuichi! I'll see you tomorrow! Okay, you little weirdo. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Himiko's magic show was Andy's idea as well. What's she planning this time? She's always gonna be causing trouble, isn't she? Uh, okay. I thought I could see somebody else around. No? <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. It looks like Kaito isn't here yet. Then, suddenly... 
Oh, there he is. Yo. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Oh, you can include Maki. <laughs> Interesting. Huh? Her? Interrupting our bro time? No. <laughs> Just kidding. She could be the third bro. Who cares if she's female? Bro is bro. <laughs> huh? Maki. Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. You could have just kicked him in the butt and <laughs> said, let me go. <laughs> Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. Huh. Huh. You calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this imp that's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. Alright! So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Wait, what? You're telling us that we're gonna be animals next to you? Dude. Uh, um... Of all the examples you could have picked. <laughs> oh, right already. Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold up! Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know... Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. D dude, no! <laughs> Stop with the super pet thing. Let's do it! The same goes to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Okay. Hey, I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't. So, why are you being so difficult? That's just how he is, girl. Can't you tell? <laughs> he's just hes just really stubborn. <laughs> he, he wants to be your boyfriend. <laughs> hey, so... How long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaito brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business. I'll mind mine. And we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. Yeah. You saw how sad and lonely she is. I mean... You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Ooh. Uh, rude. <laughs> hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? What? Huh? My enemy? Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is. As long as you know it yourself. Ah, this is kind of like what he did with Shuichi, too. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah. Come on. You've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Oh, that's a different look for her. That's her assassin face. Maki is getting angry. Kaito is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. He's pretty bold. <laughs> So, what are you going to do? Kaito! Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. He knows how to get through to her. <laughs> you? Huh? huh? You'll do it? Then? Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Not <laughs> that little puffy face is cute. Huh, <laughs> so you do get it. The only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Y you don't get it at all! Huh. Whatever. You just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, 
What are we doing? Well, what are we doing first? All right. All right. First, 100 push-ups. Dude, you couldn't even do 50 last time. Somehow, Maki ended up joining us, and the three of us trained together. <laughs> you better do all your push-ups this time, Kaito. Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. Hey, Kaito. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. Uh-huh. And you just told me to do 100. I thought we were doing 100. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... Dude, she's an assassin. She's tougher than both of you combined. <laughs> 91, 92, 93, 94. Yep. And she's doing it in a freaking skirt, yo. <laughs> Do you know how hard that is to keep her modesty? Oh my god. You go, girl. What? That fast? <laughs> Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. N no. You're done already? My god. We gotta be careful. <laughs> we gotta get our asses whooped by this girl. <laughs> What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's... B before coming here, I did some warm-ups. I already did 500 push-ups, so... Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> we don't need Kokichi here to say, no, that's a lie. Kaito, that was the best lie you could come up with. Hey. Anyway, I'm done. And you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Got it. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there. She's like, ah oh, man, it's never gonna end. <laughs> Maki ignored Kaito and left without a word. Jeez. Jeez, why she gotta be so difficult? Um, hey Kaito, why did you do all this? To help her? Huh? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. Hey, we just learned about that in our little one-on-one -on -one earlier. Yeah! Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering? Maki? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Ah. No, your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! N nothing. Anyway, let's keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. Yeah, no. right. Nice try, Kaito. <laughs> Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. Uh-huh. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Ugh, so tired. I bet. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaito bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Kaito, you really are something else. Ugh, this feels too much like warning signs are blaring. Ugh, no, Kaito, please don't die. I'm just so worried. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. Okay, Monokuma theater time. What the heck, Monodom? <laughs> what are you doing? Curious. Curious what we Monocubs do when you're not around. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny-sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. Oh my god. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air-conditioned room. 
And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. See? We're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. What the heck? Well, Monokuma's really been ousted. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually... Okay, this must be Kaito breaking into our room, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see in the next episode. Okay, I can't go to the menu. Alright, that's fine. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye!